Hello and welcome to Something Creative with Kleina. Today we are going to take one step further to sustainable living by reusing and recycling the plastic containers that keep adding to the landfills. Let's create some useful home decor and beautify our space and reduce our carbon footprint. If you like my video and you haven't subscribed it yet, please hit the red subscribe button down because it will mean a lot. So let's get into the video. Today we are going to upcycle 6 plastic container, one shampoo bottle, toilet cleaner, bathroom cleaner, squash bottle, chavan prash container, hand sanitizer bottle and I am using a clear synthetic varnish to make the paints waterproof. Before we start the painting, I have removed all the stickers and cleaned and dried them. I am using acrylic color for this project. Let's paint thick 6 red borders. Give a double coat if required. Then draw two white lines in alternate columns. Now let's draw orange zigzag pattern in the blank columns. Add orange dots above the red lines. Fill the zigzag gaps with yellow acrylic color. Finally, let's add two standing and two sleeping lines on all the white lines. Isn't it looking beautiful already? I can refill hand wash and it has instantly enhanced the look as it stands out. Next I am going to paint the squash bottle white. Sometimes we read some lines and it gets stuck in our mind and this particular line when I read it, I had to write it somewhere. So here it goes. After the bottle has dried out completely, let's do the writing. Here comes the quote, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. Oh, isn't it wonderful? So after you're done writing, add some stars and a fairy light and we are all set. I'm tracing some flower images on this bathroom cleaner container. The bottle is a beautiful red so I will leave it as it is and trace some flowers on it. Once you are happy with the image, let's mix some color. I am mixing red and white to create pink color. So my flowers will be pink in color and I will be adding green for the stem. After it is dried out completely, you can use it as a showpiece or you can add in few money plants and use it as a beautiful planter. Now 
Next is this blue Harpic bottle. Let's draw some clouds randomly. This is the fastest and the quickest DIY for today. And we are going to paint all the clouds white. Okay, so we'll be using two coats because this blue color is so vibrant and bright. And our beautiful planter or a showpiece is just ready in no time. Dear friends, if you like my video, please don't forget to like and share. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the red subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you get notification every time I post a new video. Every time you look at this bottle art, it will remind you that for a creative mind, sky is the limit. Next, I'm going to paint white acrylic color to this sanitizer bottle. After it has dried out completely, let's add some color and give it a rainbow effect. We'll repeat the pattern all over the bottle after the paints have dried out completely add a beautiful coat and it goes something like this be your own rainbow isn't it beautiful this can be used to refill hand wash or sanitizer or liquid dishwash Our final item for today is this Chavan Prash container. Clean it thoroughly before starting the project. I'm going to draw a panda on this Chavan Prash container and I'll give it a green bamboo shoot and give it some cute details and also color the cap black. This container can be used to store some toffees but I am going to use it as a piggy bank. I have given all the containers one coat of varnish to make it waterproof. This adds a beautiful shine and keeps the color intact. Please comment below which is your favorite transformation. I hope you liked this video as much as I loved making it. Time for the final reveal and if you haven't watched my other videos I'm going to leave a link in the description box below. So see you next time with some interesting videos till then bye bye and take care.